All right, let's talk about Lando and Backdrop CMS. So Lando is a local development environment, uh, providing a lot of tools that you need to uh, spin up sites uh, and work on them, develop them, and um, share your configuration with other developers on your team and get things to production in a, in a, in a great way where all your tools are packaged up together. So today we'll, I want to show you over on the right uh, some documentation. I'll show you the Lando docs and some backdrop docs. And then we'll initialize a backdrop application. We will start Lando and we will use the tools provided to us to get a backdrop code base. We have to have uh, some code in order to develop an application, in this case backdrop code. And then you'll be ready to start developing and make some profit. Great. So let's take a look at our docs here. So the um, main uh, Lando site is docs.devwithlando.io and you can read a lot of great stuff here. Lando is very flexible, does a lot of things. Drupal 6, 7, and 8, uh, Laravel, and of course Backdrop, which we'll show you today. This is the, uh, if you don't have Lando, if you go to this installing page, it will prompt you to download, which will send you over here to our GitHub page, uh, which is has our releases and as of this time, Beta 47 is the latest Lando release. Backdropcms.org is a great resource to find out about Backdrop and what Backdrop is capable of and uh, do some learning and get involved in the community. Um, and then there's api.backdropcms.org for developers. So if you're trying to develop a Backdrop application, this will tell you about all the uh, hooks available to you and things you can do if you want to make a uh, custom module or a sub theme or things like that. Great. So the first thing that we're going to do is initialize a backdrop application. And the way that you do that is with the init command. So do lando init, and that's going to ask us some questions. And you can uh, tell it what kind of application you want to start with. In this case, we're going to do backdrop. You can see there are other uh, starting states possible here. So choose backdrop. And then we're going to install it to a directory called backdrop. So the web root relative to where we're issuing this command from. And that can be anything, but in this case, we're going to put it in a directory called backdrop. Uh, name your application. So I'm going to call this Lando and backdrop. And then the application is initialized. And what that means is it writes out this configuration file, .lando.yaml. And that basically stores the answers to those questions that we just asked. And it's going to help, it's going to tell Lando how to interact with this application. So the application has a name, Lando and Backdrop, a start, starting state with a recipe, Backdrop, and the web root is Backdrop. So those are simply the answers to the questions um, that we gave when we did Lando init. Next thing we're going to do is start Lando. And the reason for that is to get access to some tooling. So when you start with a recipe like Backdrop or Drupal, it's going to pull in some tools that are uh, commonly available that you might want to use. You don't need to use them, but they're there for you if you want to. So Backdrop is a PHP application, so it's going to give us Drush. So uh, do some helper things with Drush there. It's getting Drush right now. Uh, it will get us Composer. Uh, it will allow us to issue PHP commands. So just getting us some basic tooling that uh, the team at Lando thinks you'll probably need if you're developing a backdrop application. In this case, we're going to use Drush to actually download the backdrop code because uh, we're going to download a fresh backdrop site. You, if you have an existing site, you can get clone in your existing site and Lando init inside of that application and use Lando just perfectly well inside of there. Uh, any existing application, you can, you can do that and then uh, have your app running inside Lando. The advantage of that is once you have that configuration, we recommend that you commit that .lando.yaml file to your repo, and then you can share that across your team. So any other member of your team that's developing on this site can uh, just do Lando start, and you both have the uh, same exact development environments, which you can also tweak to match closely to production so that you're uh, taking care of the nuts and bolts so that everybody's got the same details of the project so that you guys can focus on your pull requests and your feature requests. All right, so the URLs are red, and the reason for that is because we don't have a backdrop code base, so we can't uh, hit a backdrop site yet. Uh, if we had a backdrop site, those would show up green. That's 
that's totally fine because the reason that we did that so if you just type Lando uh, without any arguments it will show you some commands that are available to it so composer and drush and and so the main reason we just did that Lando start is to get access to this tooling so we're going to use drush right now so I'm going to take Lando drush download backdrop and that should reach out to github and get a backdrop code base for us so that's great so Lando is providing those tools for us because it knows if we're developing backdrop that we're gonna probably want drush so now if I refresh my file system over here you see that I've got an, a backdrop directory uh, with backdrop core and a modules directory nothing in modules right now because that's where your contrib modules will go all the core modules are now under the core directory uh, similar to Drupal 8. Great so now I can uh, I've got the backdrop code base now I should be able to hit an installation page so it showed the URLs like we saw that were in red but we've issued some more commands so if we just type Lando info it will give us some inf information about the application uh, for example um, the external database port is 32800 so if we were trying to access the database from our local host that would be the port that we would use um, so Lando info will give you that information all the time what we're after here is the URL of the application I always use the HTTPS URL because my production sites are always using HTTPS you can use whatever URL you want that's provided there so that's a uh, local cert so you have to uh, uh, say it's okay I trust it and now we're at the backdrop installation screen and we're ready to go we can install backdrop start developing our site and profit great thanks let us know if you have any questions